Welcome into the video, welcome into the channel. Hope everyone is doing well out there. Today I have another video here with the 77 inch LG C2 and what I thought, thought I'd do in this video is something a little different. I've been seeing a lot of comments come in on my videos and sometimes I get a little behind on responding to them but I appreciate the comments. I wanna let you know I'm seeing them. Just sometimes life gets in the way and I can't respond to them. So, but what I thought I would do is I thought I would do a video and do some live demonstrations and commentary talking about some of the comments on my latest video, which was my LG uh, update video for the C2 and the G2. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feature a few comments here. I'm gonna do some live demonstrations here to see if A, I'm experiencing the same issue, or B, maybe I can help with a fix. So let's get started here. Uh, the first comment I'm going to talk about is from X Savage. Appreciate the comment. It says, could it only be 60 on PS5, not 120? Just not sure. Going to try when I get home to see if it works on mine. So what I'm going to assume here is you're referencing the uh, the picture in picture of the multi view not working correctly. So let's go ahead and test that out. And I'm going to go ahead and fire up the PS5 here. And let's get this going and see what we can do here. Okay, so I've got the PS5 fired up here, and based on the comment, X Savage appears to be wondering if it's because if it's something to do with either 60 frames per second or 120. So what I'm going to use for a test subject here is I'm going to go ahead and hit the settings button, and here on the game dashboard, and here on the PS5 home screen, you can see you're locked into 60 frames per second. So rather than going into a game like Modern Warfare 3, and making sure that the display is doing 120 frames and then trying it. I'm just gonna try it straight from here that you see it's 60 and see if that makes any difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and click multi-view and we're gonna get the usual menu here. You have side by side or picture in picture. The way I want this to work, what would work best for me is picture in picture. Like I mentioned in the video, the idea here is that I can be gaming here on the PS5 and then have a window uh, instead of in the bo bottom right hand corner, I'd probably put it in the bottom left hand corner, but that's that's neither here nor there. The point is I want to be able to play PS5 and have the audio coming through for the PS5, but to have a picture in picture set up with something over here, like a college football game, you know, something I can just have on right there. I think that would be a badass feature, right? But anyhow, let me, let me show you the options. I'm sure if you have a C2, you're aware of this, but you see you have a couple options. You have screen share, airplay camera, and down here is where you start getting into your other options. Now, the way this needs to work for me is I have the Apple TV 4K connected to HDMI 3, okay? And here are the two options I get. You either can launch this combination, HDMI 3 plus screen share, or this one, HDMI 3 plus airplay. I've tried them both. I'm gonna demonstrate right now what happens when I do this. I'm gonna use the screen share one. I'm gonna click on it. We get a black screen here. It's waiting. Eventually we're gonna see something. And now what it's done is it has now made the Apple TV 4K the main menu. <laughs> Let me try that again. It's now made the Apple TV 4K the main window, which is not what I want. And it's put something else over here that doesn't look like it can be connected, you know, not sure what's happening here. So unfortunately, X Savage, while I do appreciate the comment and the suggestion, it doesn't look like it's tied specifically to what hurts you're running. You saw the PS5 home menu is at 60 instead of being in an actual game like Call of Duty that's running at 120. Maybe that's messing things up. It was running at 60 on the home screen and it's still not working, at least how I need it to work. Okay, now we're back at the PS5 main screen as the full window. X Savage, appreciate you watching the video, appreciate the comment and the suggestion, but unfortunately it doesn't look like the 60 frames is gonna help fix the issue. Okay, next comment up I'm gonna talk about is from Art Engineering. Art, appreciate the comment, appreciate you watching the video. Your comment says screen off does not work after the update. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm on the Apple TV 4K input now. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and hit the settings button and my screen off is right here. Let's go ahead and test this out. And my screen did turn off. I'm gonna go ahead and get it turned back on. So as you can see there, even though I'm on the latest firmware version, I'll go ahead and pull it up just for the hell of it, even though you saw me do it in the video. You'll see which version. I'm on 04.40.90, 
my LG C2 here, the screen off function still works as it was before that. So I'm sorry to hear, Art, that uh, yours doesn't appear to be working, but hopefully, hopefully there'll be another patch coming soon that'll help fix that. And it does seem to be an intermittent problem because like I said, my screen off function is working just as it did from the day I bought the TV. Thanks for the comment. Okay, next comment I'm gonna talk about is gonna be from Dave C6894. Dave, I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you for the comment. Your comment says, updated today and now lost the ability to power off and on the TV with remote. Anyone have this issue? So let's go ahead and check this out. And before I actually demonstrate, I can tell you that there is a big difference uh, turning off the TV now after this update, but it may not be what you think. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate now. Okay, let's check out and see what happens when I go to power off the TV and see if there's anything different going on. Here's the remote, I'm gonna hit the power button. And there's the power down, power off. Everything looks good there. Okay, TV is powered back on, powered back on like usual. So Dave, as you could see there uh, on the video, powering off the TV works just fine for my C2 with the latest LG update. What I can tell you that is different in a big way is with the quickness that the TV turns off. And I don't know if you noticed, but when I pressed the power button, it instantly turned off. Whereas before, I would have a slight delay and then the TV would power down. And the reason why I'm telling you that the TV powers down way faster now is because before the way, well, let me start by telling you how the TV or how I have this set up in here if you're, if you're new to the channel. So the way I have this set up is I have the C2 here, of course. I have my Sony receiver connected directly to HDMI 2. So whenever I power on and off the TV, it automatically powers off or on the receiver. Well, the reason why I know there's a big difference here and with the quickness of the TV powering down since this update is because before, when I would press the power button on the remote, the TV would start to go into power down mode and then the receiver would turn off. There would be kind of a delay. It would power down just fine. It was just a little bit slow. Now, if you couldn't tell on the video, I pressed the power button, my receiver instantly turned off and the TV was pretty quick right behind it with the power down motion. And what I mean by that is you see the LG logo pop up in the middle and then it turns off. So the biggest change from my C2 since this update is the TV is powering down way faster than it was before. So not sure whether you consider that a good thing or a bad thing, but my TV is powering down with the remote I mean, just fine. So Dave, uh, I'm sorry to hear that your, uh, your TV is not working the same, powering off with your remote. Like I said before, hopefully we get another update from LG here pretty quickly to patch a few of these issues. Uh, but like you could see here in the video, my particular C2 is not being impacted by whatever's going on with yours. So I do hope that gets fixed soon. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, Hit the thumbs up on this video if you wanna see more videos like this on the channel. If you're new here, if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, I appreciate you checking it out. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss my future uploads. But with all that being said, as always, until the next one.